I did do a lot of whispering to elephants yesterday, but that was more a product of the fact that they were very close and I didn't want to raise my voice at them. So there you go. There's an elephant, everybody. Definitely the best view of an elephant we've ever had. So we've had lions in Kenya with Brent, which is so very exciting. Now we've got another very large member of the animals that we see out here. James's elephant sighting this morning. Did he have a bull with quite long, thin, straight tusks by any chance? A bull with not an attitude problem, but just the temptation to try and sort of give a head shake at the vehicle. Because I'm pretty sure this is him. I know you can't tell from his tail end. I would be very impressed. I would be unbelievably impressed if you could tell if it was the same elephant by the view of his bottom and his tail. But if I try and get you a view of his tusks, perhaps you'll be able to tell me, because I think it's him. I know that they mentioned this morning on the Sunrise Safari that James's young bull gave him a bit of a head shake. I think it's him. Apparently, the elephant that James had had a tiny wound on the top of his trunk. Is this you, boy? His tusks look like female tusks. No, 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 nonsense. No, 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 nonsense. Yes, my boy. I can't see the top of his trunk. I wonder if it's the same elephant. He's... I'm giving him lots of distance just because when he walked past us, despite the fact that he had plenty of room, he still kind of thought about coming to give us a bit of a head shake and try and intimidate us. And behavior is very different when you deal with bull elephants, especially of this age. There we go. James and Final Control have confirmed it is, in fact, the same elephant. So from the Sunrise Safari this morning, this particular bull has walked from Treehouse Dam all the way to the north eastern corner of Juma. We're right up close to Buffelshook Dam. And now there he goes off into Buffel's Hook. That's interesting. That's nothing for a bull elephant. When you've got such long legs, they cover enormous distances. But it's just something nice, a sort of a follow-on from the Sunrise Safari. The fact that he has covered that distance, probably walking behind the herd of elephants that I've been tracking that have gone across into Buffel's Hook. Hey, boy. Well, there we go. That's very obliging of you. Yes, you stay there. You stop there. Don't you go disappearing just yet. You're the first animal I've seen. Not quite the first animal. I saw one in parlor. But close enough. Now, don't you disappear anyway. Tristan's absolutely right. It's quiet this side. But that's okay. The quiet afternoons make the exciting afternoons feel even more exciting. <laughs> you missed a bit there, mister. There's still he's quite a young elephant. I wouldn't put him much I oh, wouldn't put him much over twenty. A young elephant out on his own, and often you find, especially when they're young like this and on their own, they tend to be a bit more nervous, which is might might just be why he's been giving me a bit of cheek earlier. Perhaps just not so used to being out all on his own. And the memory of being in a herd is still relatively fresh in his mind. Look at the way he's using his trunk, giving the blades of grass a few whips before putting it in his mouth just to get rid of all of the dirt that he might have gathered. I can't believe how this place is still flourishing at this time of the year. Yes, the grass is going a little bit brown, but the rains, that the late rains that we've had, have turned them a much... Well, I've noticed even some of the grasses have started to seed again. The panicum grasses, the buffalo grass, have got ripe seeds once again. That's actually really lovely. And there we go. James, you were wondering if the recent rains have prevented the grasses from drying out. Yes. I mean, look, they're going to go, they're going to die off. That, that is very typical. I'm surprised because I would have thought that by February, March, we would have come to pretty much the end of the summer rainfall growth season. But all of the grasses have revived. I've seen 
really nice looking red grass which is one of the best quality grasses that we get out here panicum grass and the animals must be loving it because it just gives them that little bit of extra feeding time before we go into our dry season so for elephants the buffalo the grazers it is very special to see them still with fresh green grass at this time of year where what are we we're in the middle of may now it's a good sign because when we do go into our dry season we go in with an advantage our elephant is gone, I'm afraid. He is now on Buffle's hook, but that's okay. We've got a water hole to go and check. Let's go find out what's happening at Buffle's hook dam. We might get lucky. There might be a surprise herd of elephants drinking there. Or perhaps the new Buffles, what feels like a Buffles hook pod now. The five hippopotamus there yesterday. Uh, I'm going to go and check Buffles hook dam for something exciting. But it sounds as though Brent doesn't have to go very far to find exciting things. Let's go and see what's happening.